Nextternal makes it easy and very secure for merchants to accept and process credit cards online. Nextternal has built an integration with three of the major credit card gateway providers, Authorize.net, Payment Tech, and PayPal PayFlow Pro, which will allow you to authorize and capture funds or process refunds and voids directly within the Nextternal order management system. Setting up your payment gateway is very easy. The requirements may change depending on the gateway you're using, but the setup is very similar. The first thing you'll want to do is to log into the Nextternal order management system. After logging in, you'll want to proceed to the settings section. From settings, you will scroll down and click on edit next to compatible software. Here you will see the payment gateway section and you'll notice some different fields for the three integrated gateways. Once again, each gateway requires different information, and if you don't have this information, contact your provider and they will gladly give it to you. After you have the proper information, just enter it into the appropriate field and you're ready to configure your authorization settings. Once you've entered the correct information for your provider, you'll then want to configure your authorization settings. Authorizations will determine how the store acts when a credit card is entered during the checkout process, as you can see by the first setting, Authorize credit card before accepting order. If you select this option, then the order will not be accepted if the card is declined for any reason. Most companies will authorize before accepting the order to make sure they aren't getting a number of declined cards after the order has been placed. You can then configure a few other settings such as maximum number of attempts, but the important setting to point out is the card validation values or the three to four digit code that's located on the back of the credit card. Some merchant service providers will give you a better transaction rate when you ask for the three to four digit code as purchases using the code are less likely to be fraudulent. You can choose to make the code optional, required, or not use the code at all. Once you've configured your authorizations, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click finish. Now that's all it takes to set up your payment gateway, but you'll want to test the settings with a sample transaction. To thoroughly test the transaction process, you'll want to go to your online store and submit a test order with a real credit card that can be used. Once you submit the test order, you can then log into the external order management system and proceed to the order section. You will see the order you just submitted at the top of the list, and if you're authorizing at the time of sale, then the billing status should say authorized. You can quickly process the transaction by clicking the green dollar sign next to the order number. You should receive a pop-up message saying that the order will now be processed and you'll want to click OK. You will then see the credit card terminal that will display the results of the transaction and as you can see the funds for this order are processed and if you close the window you will now see the billing status has been marked as paid. You've now processed this credit card through the next terminal order management system and if this were a live order it would be ready to send to the customer. If for any reason you need to get back to the credit card terminal, you can click on the order number, then scroll down and click on the credit card terminal button. You can also take a quick note of some of the other buttons in the terminal, such as refund, void, and off capture. These buttons may come in handy for future transactions. Now we've just shown you how quick and easy it is to process an individual transaction. However, with the external order management system, you are also able to bulk process several transactions at once. If you have several orders that you would like to process at once, then from the order screen you can click the batch process button, which will allow you to select multiple orders and process them at the same time. This way, if you have 500 orders you need to capture funds for, you won't have to hit the green dollar sign 500 times individually. As you can see, Nextternal makes it fast, easy, and most importantly, secure for online merchants to accept credit cards. If you have any questions on this topic, feel free to contact us using the Nextternal help desk in your account. You can also call us at 1-800-914-6161 or email us at interest at nextternal.com.